Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back here in Sim Airport building Bristol. The Bristol Airport, Sim Airport style. Uh, as you can see, things have moved on a little bit uh, since you were last with me. We've moved on about a day, two days perhaps now. I can never keep track of where I am. And as you can see, I'm improving the passenger experience in our new, whole new departure and security lounge area. Oh, I'm going to pause it there for a second because I've, there's something I need to say. <laughs> uh, by putting down all this lovely car carpeting of flooring and we've defined us the space for our duty-free retail area as well. And all of which is doing quite nicely. We're putting down some flooring in security and also in the toilet rooms as well down here. Just, just to give people uh, a better sense of what a lovely place Bristol Airport is. Um, and you can see that here it's quite uh, quite impressive yeah the red is my god this is an awful place to be let me get me out of here right now um, and that's being eroded so we're moving the red out of our airport and that's what the flooring is doing uh, and we'll finish off this uh, this corridor here uh, in today's episode um, I've also done a couple of other things downstairs um, one of the things I, I've which is going to come from moving the whole departure lounge system upstairs is there's more room for baggage claim and we do need it because this really is a very pokey very small very cramped area of the airport for baggage claim so we're going to spread those out a little bit more so people have got more room to uh, to mill around waiting for their bags to turn up on the carousels uh, and we'll rearrange these the toilets down here as well uh, i've actually reset these two they i did um, I, I, I broke them in the last episode. I've now put them back together. So they, they offer some some respite for passengers uh, arriving on aeroplanes. I've also actually opened up um, and closed in this area. <laughs> I noticed uh, when I moved the, uh, the, the security and departure upstairs, I put in a couple of security gates here just to make sure that people... Um, arriving for flights couldn't get directly through to the gates without going through so why do I press down when I mean up without going through security um, and what I noticed was some people arriving from planes would come through here and then go all the way down here and so no they wouldn't they'd go they'd go up here to get to the car park or whatever so I've bounded them here so this is a now really def this is wholly the depart the arriving area i always get departure and arriving mixed up it's strange um, because people are departing the airport although they have arrived at the airport and people are arriving at the airport just so they can depart from it y yeah it's it's semantics i know but yeah for simple minds like mine it gets confusing um and then i noticed i thought oh people when you arrive at an airport when you've just landed one of the first things you want to do is phone a friend to beg them, come and pick me up, or where the hell are you? Why aren't you here yet? Uh, so I put some phones in here, and then I noticed some people arriving at the airport uh, for departing flights, rather than going straight into the ticket desks and then up to security, came in here to use the phones first. And obviously there's a risk that they might lose, that might miss their flights if they came all the way down here before going to tickets then going up to security so I put in uh, some one-way uh, paths here on these two departure uh, doors here so arriving pass arriving passengers can get to the pickup spot here through either of these two doors and I'm just taking down that wall here that was there before actually no it's down I'm putting floor in now this whole area will have brown carpeting eventually but as you know carpeting is a little bit expensive um, and also I noticed uh, in the day that we've I've been playing that uh, wasn't recording is people were dropping lots of litter I only had two janitors on staff so I've increased that to four now which hopefully I think does manage to keep up with the amount of dirt being deposited by my passengers um, particularly because they don't hang around down here so there should be no dirt and trash needing to be picked up from this area here because they just walk straight through it uh, so the four janitors turn up and do their job I will eventually get around to putting them onto routes to make them more organized uh, routes are work really really well in sim airport 
Uh, what else have I done? That's about it, I think, uh, on here. Yes, I think it is. Um, but one thing I do want to notice is yesterday we had perfect operations, including some quite large flights bunched together. 112, 134, 125, 132, even 195 passengers on one flight. Now that's pretty impressive and it got away well within time. It departed at 8.39, 20 minutes before it was scheduled to leave, which is correct because that's when the gates close. <laughs> so that the airport does appear to be working really well, which is good because I noticed when I looked at today's flight schedule, in the morning, we have a couple of quite busy flights, 87, 95, but then, wow, 163, 106, 172, 103 passengers on those flights early in the morning. And we know that morning has always been difficult for me, but I think I've got it sorted by having a few more people on these uh, security channels here, and having more of them open. So people do seem to be getting through more efficiently, which is really good. So we're just sort of rolling through trying to earn money to, uh, to go to the next stage of this, which will include moving these baggage carousels around, which means faffing around with the conveyor belts downstairs. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, oh the thing I paused for, though, this sign up here on the weather. It says really bad weather's coming in. It's 3.40. So, uh, yeah, weather's bad. Now, what that can mean is that flights get delayed. They don't arrive on time. So, because the weather's so bad, and I've only got a runway in one direction, if that negatively impacts... Well, look at that. It says, in fact, yeah, it's temporarily closed because of the weather. So, flights may not arrive on time, which then feeds into the whole schedule. Which is the wrong one, which is this one. Um, so if they get delayed much more, I'm going to have a real problem getting these really big flights away and they're not coming in. Ah, this, is, this is going to be... This weather better improve over the next 20 minutes, otherwise we could be in for a really bad second day of full operation upstairs. I don't like this at all. This is not looking good. I'll look at the floor instead, because that's nice. <laughs> oh, we've got flights in. Excellent. So EasyJet has turned up. Uh, arrived. And you're... Well, good. They've arrived before their scheduled time. That is excellent news. I'm really happy about that. Good. Okay, now the other thing we want to do here, which I was always told off for in my first series of Sim Airport, mm -hmm was not getting people places to look through. Not giving my passengers ways of looking at all the lovely aircraft doing their business around the airport. In other words, I didn't put windows in. So we're gonna do some of that today. Um, so up here we will have, actually, do I have windows downstairs? I do actually. So if I plan out where the windows work, then I could have them sort of synchronized up and downstairs. That'd be good, wouldn't it? So there we've got windows, so there, and we have some windows there, there we go, and we have some more here, yep, and I don't know, can I get you in? I can, I'll we'll probably want a few more to be honest, but that's okay, how's the, everything's looking good. Yeah, it's amazing how popular these phones are. They really are a magnet for, for passengers, both arriving and departing. Oh, and I put some in here just to sort of give them something to do while they're waiting to go through security. I hope it doesn't delay them. Uh, right, uh, we want to put windows in. That's what I came here to do. <laughs> so put them in then, man. There you go. Uh, put you in there. There, and there, and up there, and we might as well have some along there. 
Uh, that's good. I oh, will put some here as well, shall we? In the middle. Does that look roughly middle? I think it does. One thing that um, I, I'm not entirely sure about is having these walls here. Sort of between the main departure lounge area and this sort of chance, the, the upper this, the stairways to go down into the departure corridor. Um, but the walls there are, are useful to have to sort of hang things on and put things like vending machines against. So, I mean, in a sense, in a real airport, they get in the way. So you can't sort of just wander over and look through the windows and watch planes passing. Which is what you would normally do. But yeah, I think in, in terms of the game, I think they make sense. Let's get rid of all that planning colour now. We don't need that there anymore. There we go. We've got all the windows in. Which should... Yep, yeah, it does improve the, uh, the, the, the pleasantness, the environment score for those areas. So once I put floor down there, we'll be fine. Because even having these plants here just on plain concrete, it really doesn't help. How's business going down here? This is good. Oh, that's all done. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till we get to a million or so before I do any more real work in terms of moving the carousels around, I think. Okay. So everything's looking good so far. How are the flights going? Excellent. Wow, we, we got our first really big flight gone. And B2. Your second bus of passengers has turned up. 100% boarded. <laughs> it really is quite impressive how this system works. Uh, I mean, a, a few comments were made when I was first laying down this ground floor is how big a walk it was from the ticket desks through security to departure and then to walk all the way back up again to the gates. But it does work it, because it's, I think it's a nice, reasonably straight throughput of passengers. It works quite well. And now one other thing I want to do here. I've put a couple more uh, mods into the game. Um, just to give it flavour. They, they, they do serve a purpose. But uh, I'm not going to use them for that. Particularly here. Uh, information. Uh, yeah, this is here. The arrivals board. There you go. Uh, most of these sort of decorative asset mods have been created by Mod Air, a prolific modder and a great supporter of, of the game. Um, so if you're playing the game, go support his mods, uh, search him out on the workshop. Uh, I'll, you should find all of these in my Steam collection, a link for which is uh, obviously in the description for the video. Uh, so we'll put... I'm not, sure, I'm not sure what I'm doing with the restrooms yet. They will probably change. Uh, so we'll put this... Oh, we can always move them around. We'll put one there. Yeah, because uh, this, this is the arrivals. And as it says, arrivals on the top. Which does give out an information uh, area here. But again, for arriving passengers, that's hardly relevant, to be honest. So we'll slip that in there. We also have them for departures. It says departures. Uh, so we could stick you... Yeah, the trouble is that because they're just thin things, <laughs> if you turn them on the side, you can't see what they're doing. Uh, so we'll, we'll put one there anyway. Uh, well, should we have some up here? Yeah, we'll have departures there so we can see it. That's good. Even though... We do already have the info screens here. That's okay, I think. Actually, we could move you down. Let's move you down. Move you down here a bit. Oh, they finished uh, flooring the security area. That's excellent. Go on, let's, let's move that thing. Where's my workers gone? <laughs> what else are you doing? There's nothing else doing. They're all waiting. Oh, they're just waiting for the new screens to arrive, perhaps. Oh, it's gone. You look away, and, and there's that man. He's done it. Well done, you. Thank you. Uh, info screens. Uh, you're the info television things. There you go. So we will put you uh, again. Actually, if I get you up, 
Uh, yeah, we'll get you there so you can see you're seen straight out of security. There you go. And when you go in and out of the toilets as well. Cool. Oh, we're over a million. Do you know what? I will put flooring down here. So what flooring should we use for this? It, it, might, it might as well be the same flooring as here, mightn't it, to be honest, I suppose. Because it's not a totally different space like this departure corridor was. It is all part of the departure lounge area. So, yeah, let's, let's do that. Flooring. Uh, I think you're... Oh, will you... Uh, yeah. <laughs> if I do Q that, does it tell me what you are? I don't think it does. No, I think it was 1B as opposed to carpet 3, which is for, it's more grey, isn't it? Yeah, let, let's... Actually, if I do that... No, it is the same because it doesn't charge me for it. That's good. Okay. One thing I like about this game compared to... Uh, another brick in the mall is if you extend your your carpet area for example over something which you can't carpet like walls it doesn't include it in the price you see see shown there now I, I believe another brick in the mall doesn't actually charge you until the floor is laid so if it can't lay floor on a wall you still won't you won't actually get charged but when you see those estimates to start with it does uh, say oh you can't afford to do all that so it just makes it a little bit more tricky to uh, to perfectly judge what you can spend and that screens there yes yeah, so there's a load of information coming out from from security what we probably do with some screens in here by the windows that might help as well okay so where do we want to put the baggage carousels? What I think I might do, actually, is move these toilets to start with. And then I'll know where the baggage carousels can go. So, can I? What we'll do is if we'll extend... Yeah, we'll extend the toilets up here, I think. That's what we will do. So we want some wall in here. Uh, I, um, so if we make that one, two, three, that there. Let's try that. Again, I'm trying to calculate using mental arithmetic quite how much space I need and to be right to be honest I will get it wrong invariably I will get it wrong uh, so we'll put a door we'll put the door we'll leave the doors for the moment that's what we could do is start moving these facilities out of here into these restrooms because we'll lose these two here so we'll put the carousels around the centre space here. Oh, they've nearly finished that flooring. Now, see, that's a whole lot more pleasant. As you can see, my customer score is going up, 91 plus, which I think means increasing. Uh, my airline satisfaction is at 53, which is, I think is about the highest it's ever been. Why have I got... Oh, for goodness sakes! <laughs> Why have I got passengers in? Oh, good grief! Honestly, <laughs> oh, uh, if I put a door in straight away, will that work? Uh, we'll put uh, a turquoise door in there. Oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> I think, yeah, they can get out immediately. Yeah, you should be arriving passengers, so there should be nobody there that's missed a flight because of that stupidness on the part of these passengers, honestly. <laughs> Where do they get their sense from? They really do not, do they? Uh, comfort. So we should have a toilet stall or two. Yeah, we'll stick you in there. And another sink. You can go there. We'll 
dismantle some of these as well. And what we'll do, if I dismantle that wall and put down some of that floor, which I think was floor 12. Yeah, one of the things I, I, I slightly upsets me is I don't think you get the old flooring, you don't recover the old flooring uh, when you replace it. So that carpet is not going to be uh, given back to me but when I've replaced it with this stone floor, with this, this tiled floor. Uh, so that needs to be male restroom. Because it needs to be wholly enclosed. There you go. You're happier now, aren't you? Say you're happier now. There you are. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Right, and we can put in some more of those objects. That tool, stall there, and a sink. Can go there. Yeah, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to move these stalls up so we can make the female restroom bigger as well. Right, okay, so let's get rid of you three. In fact, I can just go dismantle. Uh, can I go dismantle and it only does the objects and not the floor as well? I'm suspicion that's going to dismantle the floor. But then again, I tried dismantling floor before and it didn't, so maybe it won't. We shall see. What are you doing? Yeah, you've taken away the facilities. Good. Right, so where do we want that wall? So we... How big is that? That was... If we make... Can we make it uh, nine? We'll go to there. And nine from there. Oh, it's not quite big enough. Okay, we'll make the... Ooh, which one should we make smaller? Oh, should we make them both the same size? I do want to make them both the same size. We're going to do that. Yeah. Oh, well. We'll put you in there, then. Uh, which means... Uh, the wall needs to go through there. I think I'm dismantling you already, so that's fine. Dismantle you. Okay. I actually could do with putting down some more toilets in there, couldn't we really? The men have been definitely, as it were, shortchanged. There we go. And male restroom. Male restroom. There we go. Right, that looks about perfect, I think. So let's get rid of the planning colour, which is going to confuse me, as it usually does. There we go. Okay, and we don't want that door. In fact, we don't want either of those doors. We'll put a wall in there. And put the door in there. That's good. Uh, we want some flooring. I think it's floor 12. Let's just get that done there. Oh, we need it on the uh, on the underneath the door as well, actually. Okay, well maybe we don't. Right, all is quiet. So, what's our profit look like today? 152. Excellent. We're going to lose about 50 or so of that through taxes and interest rates on our f on our loan. 91. Oh, taxes. Four Ooh, okay, it's a bit more than I expected. Maybe because I'm profitable. Yo, income taxes. Yeah. Yeah, but there is research we could do, I think. Can I do that? 
Uh, oh no, I've got the lowest income tax I can get away with. Well, I could reduce property tax. But to be honest, I'm making money now anyway. I don't... That, I mean, that's tiny, isn't it? 10, 11 grand, 12 grand property taxes. That's nothing in the grand, grand scheme of things. Perfect ops. What do you mean, no? Oh, for, no, 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 no. Stop, don't, don't, don't swear. <laughs> what went wrong? What went wrong? Why was... Mm. Whiz Air. If there's, a, if there's an airline that's going to give me problems, it's usually Whiz Air. Uh, it's so annoying. But again, it's 12, 15 grand, whatever it was. Um, for a, uh, uh, Nine grand. Nine grand for two days of 30 perfect flights. It's so annoying after we got those early morning flights away. Um, and <laughs> we lost out. Oh dear. What did yesterday look like? Um, car parking. Yeah, 14 grand. That's that's okay. That's not too bad. We spent a, mi a fair amount. 36 grand on materials for all the flooring and stuff. We didn't sell that much fuel. I think prices were quite high yesterday. Um, but uh, retail is doing quite nicely. 20 odd grand from just selling stuff. But yeah, otherwise that's all looking quite good. Anyway, uh, let's get that done with. Okay, so we're going to dismantle all these here. And the sinks. And then I can put them in here. So we need uh, another one. Whoops, another one in there. Uh, one, two, three, and sinks. Uh, like so. And there, we could do with another rubbish bin. We'll stick you there for the gents. Actually, do I need more rubbish bins around here? It wouldn't hurt, to be honest. There's a fair throughput of traffic, so passenger for traffic. Uh, so we'll stick you there. Right, now what this means is that arrival board can be taken away from there. We can dismantle that. And actually, let's dismantle all of this. Okay, let's see what it does to that. Right, it's all gone apart from the flooring. So, baggage carousels. What do we want to do? Uh, we'll extend the baggage claim area, which is very difficult to see on this brown carpet. <laughs> so let's go into the options and just highlight that a bit more. Uh, zone overlays, is that what we want? Yep, that will do. Ooh, that's very bright. So, zoning. We will. We don't need it to be as far as that. But we do want it to go out. Actually, if we put it up that way, I think... Yeah, and then we'll move. Yeah, we'll move it up here more than down against that wall. So, yeah, I think that works for me. We'll put in four carousels. I don't think we need four at the moment, but but then we do have one gate, our tiny aircraft gate here, which doesn't have a baggage carousel connection. So we might bring that into the system. And again, we could well be adding more flights, so we could be increasing our need for baggage throughput. Uh, so, uh, objects, are you ops? You are indeed from above, from below. Okay, so if we put you, you are from below, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we could put you, actually that's, what about up there? I think that works okay. That Now the trick is, I always forget where the, where the uh, cable connects, the conveyor connects into. So that's where it connects. So, right, it's underneath the, where well, it's between the, the cover and the belt, which kind of makes sense actually, doesn't it? When you think about it. So, uh, where were we? Objects, ops, carousel from below. Okay, so you're coming in from that direction. If we place you like so, how far are you from the gate? I think that's because we could do with some walls in there because you don't normally have a direct route to walk straight from baggage claim out the door, do you? You usually have to go through some security and stuff, so. In which case, it might have been better putting the toilets up there on the on the top wall. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> uh, okay, if we put you there. Okay, so let's dismantle that wall. And we'll dismantle this connection as well. So we don't want that, that conveyor belt there. Because we don't want to get confused as to which direction it's going. So out there and down there. That should complete the job. Just a reminder, um, this is a very, very inefficient and badly arranged baggage distribution system. <laughs> um, the trouble is when I do these gameplay recordings, uh, I have an objective in mind and try to get it sorted out. Um, and don't always remember the best and most efficient way of doing things. If you want to see a much better, well-organized baggage distribution system, then please do look up my my baggage all my baggage handling tutorial, um, which is I'll, I'll put a link to it in the description. To be honest, seeing as I'm talking about baggage today, um, but it, yeah, it's it's, it's on the I've got a playlist for tutorials, uh, so it'll be in there, so you can find it hopefully relatively easily. Uh, okay. That's all looking fine. You're not connected, so we'll leave you as you are. Actually, now let's disconnect you. Let's dismantle you. Uh, dis oh, there it is. <laughs> what we could do is have you moving further up there. So let's move our baggage claim zone a bit further up. I mean, one of the other reasons I put this gate in here uh, and this exit point here was that passengers not collecting baggage could more quickly get through without sort of getting in the way on this very small corridor we had here originally, uh, where they are mixing with all the other people coming in, collecting their luggage. Right, so we could put another baggage claim, baggage carousel up there. Uh, utilities is the quickest way to find them. There you go, and you'll go around that way. Do you think that's space enough? I think that's space enough. Let's put you there. Okay, how are we doing on our flights? So far so good. Yep, yeah, only two flights gone, but we're looking fine. We don't have quite the big flights we had yesterday but it was a fair number of over a hundred or very close to so that's fine we should be making money from there and you're done right so if we go down here ideally this hub here should be moved closer to where the carousels are which is the main thing I got hopelessly wrong when I built this system originally uh, so we move this closer here so these individual conveyor belts from the hub to the individual carousels are much shorter and therefore cheaper. <laughs> it's much more efficient doing it that way. So the question is, do I want actually, could we do with two hubs? Ah, good question. It's like there's bound to be limits on the capacity of both the depots 
which collect the baggage from the aeroplanes, delivering into the hubs, and indeed taking it out. So, um, and I'm sure other people on the forums um, have suggested that you shouldn't have quite as many gates as I have. I think I've got four connected to, uh, yeah, four gates connected to this one hub. Yeah, oh, that's, that's right, the standby isn't connected either to, uh, to the baggage system. So, could do with another hub, I think, another depot, which means another hub. I think it might well be worth doing that. Where's that? Oh, that's the incoming, isn't it? I think we will do that in the next episode. I think. So what we'll do, yeah, I will end this one here. Oh, let's get rid of that flooring. Yeah, that flooring is annoying me. Uh, floors, it was the floor six, I think. You can go up there, there you go. Well, that will deal with that. And what we'll do in the next episode is put in the, finally complete that baggage area. Um, it's just a small redesign of our baggage system. And with any luck, we will have enough money to expand further our departure lounge area and start moving into more retail space in terms of the arcade zone, the entertainment zone for, for passengers waiting, and also cafes, eating eateries, dineries, you know, places to eat and drink, basically, and for me to make more money, which is kind of the point of this, really, isn't it? <laughs> So everything is looking fine so far. Uh, yeah, everyone is fully boarded. And I hope I don't have Wizz Air annoying me later today. Yeah, yeah, they have reasonable sized flights, usually under 100. But mm, it might have just been the building I was doing at the time. I'm, I'm going to put it down to that, perhaps, and see how we do. Right, so yes, thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Sim Airport. Um, we haven't gone forward a great deal. Uh, I've just shown off some of the changes I've made off camera uh, and increasing the passenger comfort level by putting in all these lovely carpets and windows and more toilets. Who doesn't like toilets? And a, a, a sort of preview of the upcoming baggage claim redistribution, re redesign of uh, of that area. But everything is looking fine so far. So thank you once again so much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbs up button. Even better though, if you've got any thoughts, anything to say at all, hints, tips, recommendations, criticisms, suggestions, anything at all, just do please drop it down into the comments box below. It'd be awesome to hear from you. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you can do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Sim Airport. Until the next time, bye bye for now. Yeah.